Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Friday night crafting. We're going to get our craft on and I'm just going to start opening my clay that we're going to use tonight. Um, we're going to do some miniature little stuff. So I'm going to make some stuff and we're going to incorporate this into it. This teacup and this saucer. Hey guys, say hey once you get on. I'm just going to get over here and start opening up this clay. While everybody's getting on, I hope everybody's had a good week, and I have. It's been trying to get back into the grind. Uh-oh, I can't see comments for whatever reason. Y'all, it's going to do this again tonight. I cannot even see comments. I can see who's watching. <sighs> Y'all, this is irritating. Let me see. I hope my iPad's got some charge on it because I can't see comments. Oh, there's somebody. Hey. Y'all say hello so I'll make sure I can see comments. Hey, hey. Thank you, Tammy. I got it. my hair cut. I got it colored so y'all don't have to look at... Y'all ain't gonna look at all that roots. There's everybody. I see comments. Yay. Okay, good. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to see comments. You know, you don't ever know sometimes what Facebook does. Um, okay, it's good now. All right. Good. Okay. So, y'all know I love this clay. Uh, it, come, it comes from Hobby Lobby. And I know that's bright. And it's $9.99 for a block, which now we can't use a coupon. But, um, they do put it on sale every once in a while. Okay. So, it's DOS clay. It's air dry clay. If you've been following me for a while, y'all know I've used it in the past on several different projects. So I am, we're going to use it tonight in our project because you know I like to kind of use stuff that I already have and I use for other crafts. Um, hey Kim. Hey Darlene. And so I'm just going to sit here and start kneading my clay a little bit. This is air dry clay at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Michael's too. Michaels, you still use coupons. Hey, Robin. Hey, Martha. I wonder if everybody got my text. I texted everybody. That's on my list. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, so what I'm going to do tonight is um, I'm going to, we're going to take this teacup. Now, this teacup, I've got to, I've got to turn this light down, y'all. I think I forgot to turn it down a notch or two, and I think it's too bright. There we go. Maybe that's better. I don't feel like I'm sitting in the french fry lights. <laughs> that's better. It was too bright. I forgot to knock it down. Thank you, um, Beth, for the stars. Okay. So, um, y'all know I use this clay. So, I got this teacup. It just came from Goodwill, okay? It's just a regular Goodwill. Hey, Colin. Um, hey, Laura. And um, just a regular teacup. And then, this is just a saucer. I actually got this one at Walmart for 90 94 cents, and it's really not a saucer. I think it's a um, salad plate, actually. But I wanted it a little bigger than my teacup, okay? I didn't want it, but you could use a saucer if you wanted to. But you'll see why I wanted it a little bigger. Um, yes, Candice, I actually bought some of their clay at DT. Oh, thank y'all for my hair cloth mess. I got a, about that much cut off of it. Um, I was like, just cut some off. I'm, I get to the point to where I can't even function. Okay, yeah, if you haven't signed up for my text, you can sign up for my text. Um, it's on a post on down, and I forgot to grab my paper with my number on it. But anyway, I'll get that in a second. Um, <laughs> don't get a sunburn. Yeah, I don't want to get a sunburn from my light. This is just a Goodwill. It was like a 99 cent teacup. You may have teacups. I know Dollar Tree has, you know, the little big soup bowls. You could do the same thing that we're going to do tonight with it. Or you could do... Um, you could use one of these. You could use a crate. Any kind of little container that you have. You could even use a recycle, a plastic container or something that something comes in that you buy from the store that you normally would throw away. So you could use any of that. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I got my air dry clay and it's from Hobby Lobby. But Michaels has it. Um, and I'm going to, we are going to make little houses and we're going to make like a little um, garden type little thing. But I'm going to show you how I made my houses first. But I already have houses done. 
because they have to dry like a day or so to dry. If you've ever used this, you know, but we made our clay gnomes with this. We've done several things with this clay and I love to use it and make, you just make what you can't go by. So it's, it's real fun to have and I love wor working with the clay. Hey, Georgette. Hey, Judy. Thank you, Judy, for the stars. Okay, so here is, I'm just going to, I pinched off a piece of clay, basically. So I'm going to just, you know, you have to kind of roll it and get it started. And if it starts getting dry, which it will, you know, I just use a little bit of water on my fingers and just kind of knead it back in. Thank you, Terry, for the stars. Okay, so ball of clay. And now I'm just going to set it down on my little mat I have here. And I'm trying to make the bottom flat. And then I'm just going to kind of tap the sides because we're trying to make a square because <laughs> it's a house. It's going to be a house. It's not going to be a perfect house, but, you know, it's going to be a house. And I just, you know, you just kind of play with it. Make the roof pitched. Make you a little roof. Just making a little house. Um, yeah, I love using it too, Kelly. I just like making stuff with it. It's just soothing to to do that to me, just to make something. I just hate waiting for it to dry. <laughs> All right, so here's my little house. Real simple. I just kind of set it down on the mat or, you know, your table and try to get all your sides kind of square. So you have your little house, okay? And if you want to add little details to it, you know, now would be the time to do it, or we can draw them on later. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Okay, so I got my house. So I have this little tool. I know y'all may have seen it from Dollar Tree. It's got like a little point on it, which you could use a tack. You could use the paper clip. You could use whatever you wanted to. And um, you got to go dig out your clay. I'm just going to make a little door on my house and just kind of dig into the clay. But you could draw windows. You can get as detailed as you want to get because however, you know, you leave it, that's how it's going to dry. And that's the great thing about this. You can be as detailed. So there's my little door. I'm going to hold it back here so y'all can see it because if I get close, it may get too bright. See, I just kind of mashed in with my little tool and um, made a little door like that. Now, if you wanted to draw some windows, you could do that however you want to do it. But the house is the, the part that we're making with the clay. So there's my house. And now we're going to take paper clips. Um, hey, Alice from Missouri. Hey, Alice. Okay. And I'm just going to straighten it out. Because we're going to need something. I mean, this part's not necessary. But if you wanted to stick these, you could make these and put them in your plants, in your house, or wherever you wanted to put them. And they would just be little accents. Um with so your your plants or however you could put these little houses anywhere you wanted to i just took it and straightened it out and then i'm going to take it and then i'm just going to stick it up into my clay all right so then i'll just set this aside and i'll let it dry so when i did mine that are already dry my paper clip the hole was still there but the paper clip would come in and out so all i did to these over here was i put super glue on my paper clip and put them back in there when they were dry and they, st they stay. But that's going to allow you to stick it down into styrofoam or stick it down into the, um, to your plant or wherever you want to do it. And there's your house. And you can paint this anything you want. Um, Kathy, I'm making a little, this is a teacup I got from Goodwill. And it's a salad plate. And we're going to make like a little mini little garden for spring. Just to set in your home, wherever you want to. I love everything miniature. I love little miniature things, and I love, I'm right now I'm in love with little houses, so we're kind of combining the two. Um, okay, so there's my little house, and I made it out of this clay, and it's, it's modeling clay, but it's air dry, and it, it can't, it says uh, air hardening clay, so I got it at Hobby Lobby, it's $9.99 for this block, and this block will go a good ways, um, but, um, you know, used to use a coupon with it, but you can't now because I don't have coupons. Um, so you do need to put this in a Ziploc bag or something like that when you get through with it because it will dry out. Um, hey, Nancy. Hey, Tina. 
So I'm going to put this up because I will forget and it will set out all night and it will dry out because I will walk away and forget. So I'm just going to seal it up in my bag so it'll be ready for next time. But this clay, I love it. I use it for a lot of stuff. I like to make little things with it. One of my favorites is the gnomes. Y'all know, let's see, where are they? These gnomes are made out of the same clay. I have a video on that. If you want to go back and check this out, it was May of last year, I believe. And um, these are so much fun, y'all. I have a whole army of these little guys. Um, very easy. It's not hard. So don't think, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. It's not hard. Hey, Cynthia. Okay. All right. So I wiped my hands off of that and I got my house. So now that will dry in about a day or so. It takes... 24 hours, depending on how thick it is, for it to air dry. So I just set that to the side. Now, here are the houses that I've already made, okay? I got, um, and I, I've already I painted these white just to save me a little time on here. Um, make a fairy garden. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, yeah, you can make carrots, Rachel. You can make rabbits. Anything out of that clay is awesome. Um... Let me get my water out of the way before I spill it. So I've already made these little houses. They're, I just painted them white and I have four. And I painted this one brown with just burnt umber. And then I took a baby wipe and I just wiped a good bit of it off because I wanted a couple of my houses to be brown. So there's my other house. Um, okay, so yeah, it's, I used white on one of on the, some of them and then but you can paint your houses any color you want to paint them, okay? Um, so now, but what I was saying a minute ago is that after they dried, it didn't hold on to the paper clip really well. So I just put a little super glue on my paper clip and stuck it back up in there, and it's, it's not coming off. So it stayed in, so it's fine. And you can poke them in your plants, whatever. So you can take this part of it and just do something else totally with it, or you can do what I'm doing. So... To kind of a two for craft. Now, for the next part, I made roofs for them. I had to go a little extra <laughs> and I had to make roofs. I gotta get some water. Let me grab my number and I'll show y'all the number for the text scene. Hold on one second. This is my number, so if you wanna screenshot it, screenshot it now. And that's, you just text that number and you can say join or it doesn't matter, whatever you say. And I will text you before I go live or like when stuff goes in the shop and stuff like that. So just text that number and you'll get on my list. And it's actually me responding back to you. It's not a bot or a robot or anything like that. The first one you get may be, but after that, it is me. When I answer you back, it's me. Um, okay. So I took our good old popsicle sticks and I cut them and I made little pieces for the roofs of my houses, okay? Some of them I painted white for the brown houses and brown for the white houses. Oh, okay, somebody's telling how to get to the videos. Hey, Lynn. Okay, so I went ahead and did all that before I came live of my little roofs and my houses. So I'm going to actually put my roofs on my houses just got to figure out which which house and which roof <laughs> which one goes on which one so when you do it just make sure you, you know you got your your roof flat to where you can actually put that piece of wood on there I'm just gonna kind of I'm just using hot glue and I'm going to make my little roof we're going to see how that's going to stick. Where's my, oh, there's my door. I'm trying to figure out where the door is. Okay. So these are already dry, okay? I did these actually before I went back home to see Deidre. I had had this plan for a while. And then uh, I had to go down there and see her. And I didn't get to do it. So, but she's doing a lot better. She's still in the hospital. But she's doing so much better. Um, and, um. Uh, so, y'all just continue to pray for her. Hey, Carmen. Okay. So, now, these this roof is not totally even, but it's okay. Look at my little roof on my house. Now, see, I used the end of the popsicle stick on this one. I didn't square it off, but it's not even, but it's okay. I'm happy with it. 
I'm going to draw some details on there in a minute. Let me just get my, my roofs on here. I think I actually used the wrong roof for the wrong house, but it's okay. It'll be okay. I think I did. Oh, there's Nancy's. You can, yeah, you want to screenshot the number? Here we go. You can go ahead and screenshot it. And just text me and I will notify you when I go live, okay? And my hot glue probably just dried, but. I'm trying to get that one to stay. You could use cardboard. Yes, you could, Judy. The first thing that just came to my mind is my glue, dri my glue dried while I was holding up my paper. Um, you could uh, put cardboard. You could do whatever, and you don't even have to make a roof. You could just use, you know, use the house and just paint the roof as it is. Okay, let me hold this on here. Yeah, she is better. She's doing a lot better. So, she's able to swallow. Everything's good. You know, she had lost all that at first, and now all that's better. So, she's doing so much better. And we give God all the glory because it's, uh, it was, it was touch and go for a little while there. Okay. So, there's my other little house with its roof. Look how cute it is. You can make bird houses like this. It'd be so cute. My dogs are barking at something. Oh, there's my other one. So, now I've got glue strings everywhere. I've got these two I got to do. So, these are the brown ones. And I did white roofs for them because I kind of wanted a little bit of a a variation and then we're going to get to building our little teacup over here building our stuff in our teacup hey sue okay and we got to pick a name i got bunnies to give away and i've got um some gnomes too some easter gnomes for some happy mail and i've got some bunnies aren't they cute I've yet to dress those up. All right. So, let's scroll and pick a name. It always stops on that thing. Judy Daniel. Judy Daniel. If you message me, I will send you uh, probably a gnome. Isn't he cute? For Easter. All right. So, let me get back down here. Okay. All right. So there's my little white roof for my brown house. See how cute it is? We got one more, and then we're gonna start building our little our little scene. Okay, so I just hot glue it right on with the glue strings and all. So I hope y'all have had a good week. I have. I feel like I've been playing catch up because I missed a week and um, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just glad she's doing so much better. I love miniature things too, Deborah. I love it. Okay, so look how cute that is. Just a little block of clay with some popsicle sticks on there. Okay, so now I've got all my little houses. And I think I'm going to actually take my pens and I'm going to color this door in a little bit. These are my little Posca pens. You could use a Sharpie marker. It doesn't matter. You could actually paint if you want to paint that small. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to just draw some little windows. There's my little house with my windows. Let's see. Let's get this one. Oh, just color in the door. And you don't have to do this. You can um, just do whatever you want to do on it. I'm just drawing little windows like we did when we were kids and we drew little houses with trees. So there's that one. I put a window way up high. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a window on the side. And let's put a window on this side. So I've got windows on my house and that door's already brown. 
I just put little windows on that one. And let's color this door black. And I've been loving seeing all of y'all's paintings in the, um, and there goes my dogs. Um, seeing all of y'all's flower paintings. I was just blown away at y'all's flower paintings. So there's my other house. So now I'm going to put all my houses together. And y'all are wondering why this one doesn't have a stick on it. Well, we're going to put it down on the saucer so it didn't need one. Um, Lori, the video is back last May. And it's called, it says Making Clay Gnomes or something like that's the title. But it's in the video thing. And I love making them. I've, I've sold them. I've made them and sold them. I used to. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to get my teacup. And there's several other videos too that I've used the clay. So I've used them to make some little Halloween things. And I can't remember what else. We made snowflakes. or No, that was with the other stuff can't remember. I did it with something else. So I'm going to take my teacup and I've already cut, I've already cut down a styrofoam ball and so it would go down in here like that. And you could do it however you wanted, but I wanted like a little hill, little houses on the hill. Um, and I am going to put a piece of styrofoam down in the bottom because it doesn't want to touch the bottom. So you do whatever, floral foam. I just had a styrofoam ball, it was perfect. So I'm just gonna um, put some glue on here and melt my styrofoam a little bit and glue that down. Yeah, hanging with my Nomi's, that was um, part of the title, I think. But I try to go back and title all my videos so you'll know what they're about. So when you go to looking, okay. So I'm just putting this in here and um, a spring clay gnome. I know, I need to make one too. I need to make a bee gnome. I want to do a bee one with a striped hat. Speaking of bees, y'all, I got to show y'all. Y'all know Miss Darlene makes the hats. Isn't it cute? Look at it. <laughs> there's the there's her bee hats. I'm all set for my bee stuff. Y'all, look at this one. You're not going to even believe this. This right here. I'm getting them all fixed. Look at that beekeeper hat with the net. And it's got little bees on the little net for his little beekeeping hat. Is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Look, it's like a little, his little bee hat. Y'all, excuse my dogs. They're, I don't know what they're barking at. And then look at this one. Isn't it cute? Look, 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 look. You'd like to be in this group? Well, Debbie, you can follow my page. And then the free group is, um, you're welcome to join the free group. Everybody post um, their crafts and stuff in the group. There's like 10,700 people in there. And there's some stinking talented people in there. I mean, they blow me away every day. Um, and it's called the um, Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. I know the bee is so cute. Okay, so if you want some hats like that, Miss Darlene Gratton, who is in the comments, she will, um, she'll be glad to make you some. And trust me when I say her prices are fantastic because some people charge like $15 or $16 for one of those hats. And her prices are so, uh, so what, you know, they're blow that out of the water, but she is phenomenal. Um, Shirley A. Allen, a lady named Darlene Gratton, who is in the group, she has, um, she has the, she does, she makes the hats and you can message her directly and she'll hook you up and tell you prices and what you want and all that kind of stuff. And they are so cute. Okay. So I got my foam in there. It's not coming out. So now here comes the fun part. Cause y'all know I get, I have moth rage too. Um, but reindeer moths from Dollar Tree. We're going to see how this is going to go. Cause I'm going to have a hot mess. I already know. And I'm going to try to, the best way I know how, I've never used this stuff. It almost feels, it almost feels damp, but it's not. It just feels weird. It's like real soft. There's the group link Tammy just posted. So I think I'm going to try a leaf or something in there and glue some of this down. Yeah, Darlene is, she is killing it with a hat. She sent me those and I'm like, I gotta have the bee hats. Cause I'm gonna have a bee thing going on. 
Hey Loretta from South Carolina. This this moss feels weird. It's like um it feels like it's I don't know, have y'all ever used this? Darlene, raise your hand. <laughs> Where are you, Darlene? I know I've already seen her once in here. But she is my hat lady. Because y'all know I love my little mugs. This stuff is like weird. It's not, it feels like it's not dry. Hey, Elizabeth. It feels like it's, I don't know. It doesn't have a smell. It, feels, it just feels weird. There's Darlene right there. Her comment's right there. So you can message her and she will get with you and she will make some hats and she can whip them up like nobody's business. They are adorable. You know, she did the bunny, the bunny ears and she's got all, she does watermelons and all kinds of stuff. She had lemons and limes, I think, in the group one day. Me too, Mandy. I'm on the B train, so y'all know bees are coming, right? Okay, so I got my... This is just like the weirdest stuff. I expected it to be dry, and it's not dry. Hey, Anna. It's damp. It feels like I just went outside and picked it or something. I don't know. It's really strange. Will it dry out? Okay. I guess it'll dry out. I thought it was dry. You don't like that moss so it feels weird. It does feel weird. I've never messed with it. I just bought it thinking it was going to be dry. I guess it'll dry. I don't really smell. Ugh, it makes my hands feel weird. Yeah, it feels like silky something. I don't know. It's weird. See, everybody's saying it's weird. I didn't know that. I thought it was just going to be dry. Yes, I got it recently. And it has. it's called reindeer moss. I always use this. The sheets. But I didn't think I could get it to dome like this. So I just bought this. Um, bought this. Oh, that is not going to work, Lee. There's an X-Acto knife and it's standing blade up and I need to turn it down. All right. So there's my little heel. Okay. So I think I need to put my houses on here first. I'm trying to get it to hide the white. I'm gluing it down. Maybe it'll dry. You got more beef fabric. I bought me some beef fabric too because I'm going to make some little pillows to go on my tear tray. Okay. So there's that. Ugh. It's weird stuff, y'all. It's different than the other moss. But I wanted it green, so... Okay, so I'm going to put my houses in, and I'm going to actually cut off my paper clip a little bit. All right, so let's stick, all right, I got a brown house, a white house, and another white house. Because I didn't, I was going to paint the houses like these real pretty bright colors, but we're going to add some color with the flowers, so I didn't want it to all be colored in. Where did I? Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put the brown one in the middle. So see, then they just push right down into my styrofoam. And I'm going to put that one there. Oh, y'all, I'm going to love this. I can tell already. Okay, I got them too close. Hold on. All right, let me get them to act right. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> it's too cute. <laughs> Look at my house. It's on a hill. Oh, good, darling. It will dry. Okay. Because it's real weird. It's 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 not leaving my hands wet, but it feels wet. Like it's like they just picked it. Let me glue that down. Look at it. Oh, cute. Uh, Look at my houses. Can I get y'all know I got I'm a hairdresser on the side, right? I'm just gonna give it a little. I'm cutting the grass just a little bit. Giving it a haircut. Okay. All right. So here's my. And it cute. It's cute just by itself. But we're gonna make some trees and all kinds of stuff. So I've got all my florals over here and over here. <laughs> I've got florals mounding the sides of my. Um. I know I need a little gnome, don't I? Okay. 
So I had to dig through some of my Christmas florals and I dug this out because I thought those would make perfect little pine trees. So let me see, pull this off. Oh my goodness, my nose is gonna itch. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these off and we're gonna, I'm gonna attempt to either stick it down in the styrofoam and make a hole and glue it down on there and make some little trees and we're going to add some flowers. Yeah, it's a Goodwill uh, teacup and then I got this salad plate at Walmart for 94 cents because I, I wanted it a little bit bigger than the um, than the saucer so I could have some room to go in the front. Make EpiPen for bees. Um, but uh, I made my houses out of clay and put little popsicle sticks I cut for the um, for the roofs. And my do my dogs are scratching at the door because they're wanting in here. But sorry, puppies. <laughs> I'll be out in a little bit. He's scratching at the door. <laughs> okay, so let's put a let's put a tree back here in the back. Looks like pine trees. Quit scratching. My doggies are scratching at the door. If I wasn't doing a lie, they wouldn't care what I was doing. I'm so clever. Actually, I saw this on Pinterest. And I just kind of put my spin on it. Does that make sense? I just kind of... I see... You can see something and be like, Oh, that's cute. And I'll just make them a little different. I made my own houses and that kind of thing. I like to see stuff sometimes and say, oh, I can make that and make it happen. Okay, so that's what we have so far. So, we got our little houses with our little pine trees in the back. I got to have a gnome. I know now I got to make a little bitty bitty gnome. <laughs> that's his house. <laughs> he lives in one of these houses. Okay, so I got to show you all these because when I went to market, you know, you kind of see what's coming out and what's the big thing coming out. We saw these little, these little, bushes with yellow ones pink ones green ones everywhere at market so i knew they were going to be a big deal this year and then they had these at walmart this is mainstays it came from walmart like recently like i got it last week um cynthia it's a yorkie and i have an australian terrier um i got glue everywhere but these little balls so i got these and i was looking at them a few minutes ago and i thought that's gonna make a perfect tree for my little houses. Look at that. Don't it look like a tree? So that's what I'm going to do. And I was worried about it standing up. But I think it's going to work. I'm just going to stick it in the styrofoam a little bit. And just put a bunch of gl a glue around it. And there's my tree. Whoville flower. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Prickly little thing. Oh, got to hold it up there. Let the glue set. Girl, I can make anything. I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know about anything. I do have some fails. Um, I have fails. I, trust me, I have fails. Okay. Oop. <laughs> See? Y'all know if I don't glue it to the table or something like that when I go live, you know, it's I'm going to do something like that. I'll glue it to the table. Yeah, if I had smaller ones, I know the smallest one on there is only that one. So, I don't know if that would make a good... We're going to put some bushes in the front. I'm going to landscape. Y'all just wait. Y'all going to do landscaping on our little houses. Just wait. I'm just waiting for that to set up. So, we can... We'll scroll and find another name. How about that? Teresa Pylant, Oxley Pylant. Teresa, if you'll message me and I will send you one of these white bunnies. P-I-L-A-N-T. Teresa. It needs a little gnome, she said. Okay. So, yeah, I will send you one of those that everybody's dressing up and putting clothes on. Have you seen those? Oh, my goodness. All right, glue dry. What is going on with my glue? Dry. All right, so now we're going to do something else. We're going to put, and like I said, y'all, I just dug through all of my 
floral stuff and just found stuff that looked miniature, like I could put a, make a little tree out of it or something. So I just kind of dug through all the florals I have and started looking at stuff that looked like trees and my little balls wanting to lean. Hot glue a toothpick. Yes, you could do that. You could hot glue a toothpick because that ball's kind of heavy. But I have backup plan B in case the ball don't stay up. I have backup plan B. And I may have to... Oh, it's hanging in there. The moss is just wanting to... To, um... Give away. So, I'm just going to have to reinforce the moss back here. With the glue. There we go. Alright. So, here's my lavender. Ah! Y'all. Alright, little bush. This is what's supposed to happen to you. Went outside and got some sticks. This is what's about to happen. I'll show you there, buddy. Let's see. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. We're going to make it a... Make a hole for this stick right here. And I'm going to... I told y'all I had... Oh, I broke my stick. Plan B. Maybe. Okay. Look at there. Look. See? I told you. Then I glued that to the table. So now, haha! -ha. If it won't stick the first time, we'll make it stick the second time. And I got hot glue everywhere. And my lavender's not wanting to stay. I think it's the moss. Okay. Yeah, I got stuff everywhere. Okay. Look at <laughs> y'all, it's so cute. I love miniature. How can you not look at little bitty stuff and think that is the cutest thing? Okay. So, and I have some succulents because I thought they would make cool looking trees. See, I just, don't that look like a tree? But it's a succulent. So, let's put him. I'm going to stick him in the styrofoam. Okay. So, there's another tree. Look. Look how stinky. And they have succulents at Dollar Tree. Of course, this one didn't come from Dollar Tree. It came from like a floral place here. But you can get all kinds of succulents. So let's... And I'm going to throw in this. Look at this. This is from Dollar Tree. And this is that... I don't know. It looks like that bird millet looking stuff. I don't know. But it looks like a tree. This whole tall thing looks like some kind of tree. So it's going to be a tree. A miniature tree. Get my wire cutters. I think it's cute too. I've um, I just like the teacup idea and having like a little house and a teacup. I just think it's cool. Houses and teacups. Um. So now I gotta see if I can get it stuck down in the styrofoam. Okay. And glue. Lots of glue. <laughs> Hold it up where it'll stay. I'm putting that in the back because it's tall. My little... Alright, stay right there. Any other time the glue would hold and I wouldn't be able to get it loose. My little tree. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Alright, and then... I got these. Where did I get these? These came from Joann's, I think. Um, and these are little bitty, they're little pink flowers. And I think I'm just going to basically pull those off. And let's see. But I want to, I got one more thing I want to do first. Where are, here they are. I'm forgetting something. Okay. I got rocks. From the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna find some that look kind of flat or something, and I want to put like a little path almost, and make like a little stone path. Even though these rocks are kind of big for this, I didn't have any smaller ones. 
<laughs> yeah, I went thrifting today. Did y'all see that, um, did y'all see the Magnolia Home Cup that I got? Well, Magnolia, whatever it's called. Um, Joanna Gaines, it was a coffee cup I got, and it has Gather on it, for 99 cents. And we started looking that up on um, the internet. And they were selling them on Macari for like $20 for that cup. And I was like, that's going on my coffee bar. It's so cute. I couldn't believe I found that um, that cup. And it's perfect condition. Like, it looks like it's brand new. So, I'm just going to put some little flat rocks and glue them on here like a little path. And I'll show it to y'all. Look how cute it's turning out, y'all. This is so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little pink, those little pink flowers. And I'm going to glue them down. Let's put them right beside my little, my little walkway. The little driveway. Alright, we're going to do with the other ones. I've got so much out here. I don't know where they went. But I'll just put, pick some more off. See, they're little bitty. So, I just kind of went through my stuff and found very small little flowers and stuff like that in my stash. And found some stuff I could embellish it with. I must put one over here. My dog is scratching on the door. <laughs> Bella, quit it. Y'all, this is going to be adorable. And I was worried that it wasn't going to turn out like I wanted it to, like I had vision in my mind. Hey, Rennie. Oh, and I lost a flower and I can't get a hold of it. And I'm just going to show y'all my little houses. Y'all. <laughs> Look at how adorable. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's killing me. Look at how cute. Yeah, the clay is um, this clay right here. And I get it at Hobby Lobby. It's air dry clay. Or I get it at, um, you can get it at Michael's. But look at how cute. Look at my trees. Y'all see the back? The back's not as pretty, but look at how stinking cute this is. <laughs> my lavender's kind of going all rogue over here on the side. That is so stinking cute. Okay. So I got pink. I got all kinds of little flowers out here. Let's see. Let's add some yellow. How about some yellow? See, I, knew, I was going to paint the houses colors, like real light blue, pink, and green or something. And then I decided not to because I thought I, did, I wanted the color to be in the flowers. So, let's put that one there. And this one over here. And you can just add or... Take away or whatever you want to do to it. You could paint your houses if you wanted to. Okay. See, you can just keep adding a little color. And it looks like a little village, a little, little neighborhood of houses. It just looks adorable to me. Isn't it cute? Okay. I think, I think that's enough greenery, I do believe. But we're going to work on the saucer now. So we got to do something to it. So, see, it's going to look like this. And I'm going to push my saucer all the way. I mean, my, it's a salad plate. It's bigger than a saucer. But, you know, I want to push it all the way to the back like that. So, I'll have all this room out here that I can do. Or you could just do it this way and leave this and, you know, set it somewhere in your house or in anywhere. And it's just cute as it is. I, Sherry, I started to get those miniatures. I looked at them today, but in the scale of the house, it, the bench would be this big, and then the house is this big. So, I didn't think it would look as good, but look how stinking cute it is. <laughs> look at it. Okay, but you could do it in this from Dollar Tree. Like I said, you can get a little container, like the little frozen meals come in those little containers. You could use those. You could use anything. Just recycle stuff that you have uh, and do the same thing with it. But I just love the teacup. I just think the teacup's really cute. So, I get all this reindeer moss off my table. Um, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna cut. This is that sheet moss, 
And I think I'm going to, it's already cut. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna, I used something else. I used it for something else, obviously. I cut a, a whole lot of it for something. And I think I'm going to, just gonna kinda make it kinda, not really, I'm just making a, like a blob. I'm not really any straight edges. Whew, hell, it flew up and hit me in the face. Crafting's dangerous. Okay. So I just kind of, I don't know, cut out a blob. So it kind of looks like this. So I got this little green blob. So I think I'm going to glue, actually glue my teacup down. And I'm going to glue it with my Gorilla Glue. But if it comes up, I'll just go back and E6000. Um, so let's see. I'm just gonna make a good little puddle because this stuff holds pretty well, and it's not like anybody's gonna be playing with it. So, let's see if that's gonna hold. Nope, I didn't get enough in the front. And if I get glue out there on the plate, it'll be okay because I'll cover it up with my, I'll cover it up with my moss. Okay. I mean, it's on there. <laughs> but look how cute. See, it's going to look so cute. Okay. So here's my little green I cut out. And I could have cut the whole saucer, but I wanted to be able to, you to tell that it was a saucer or a little plate or whatever. So now I'm just going to lift it up and I'm just going to glue it different spots so it'll stick and won't be sliding all around. Blob is high tech terminology. It is, Renee, it's high tech terminology. So did y'all get the text I sent out before live? Those of you that have signed up for it, have did y'all get the text? Where did I get the houses? Mary, I made the houses, and you'll have to go back and watch the replay, but I made them out of this clay right here. It's air dry clay from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, I've used the clay in several different videos for different things. I love working with it. It's just air dry. And here is the house that I made earlier for all of you, and it's still wet, and it'll take a day or so to dry. And then I just took them and I made little roofs with them, with their little pieces of the um, craft sticks, these. I made the roofs out of this to cut to fit, and then I just painted them. And then I hot glued the roofs on, painted the houses, and then I'm just using pieces of little florals to make the, um, the little landscaping. All right, so now I have house number four, and is see it see the little roof it's just little popsicle stick pieces it's not perfect don't look too close it's <laughs> one side's longer than the other but it's okay gives it a little character so i'm gonna put him since the handle's on this side i think i'm gonna put him over here and then we're gonna dress up this area down here so i'm gonna glue him probably right there so let's put him down right there but I love this clay it's so much fun and you can make all kinds of stuff your kids can get get involved and use it and make stuff with it cookie cutters let them dry make ornaments to hang on a tree all kinds of stuff yeah you'll have to watch the replay Mary the their houses are fun they're easy you just make a cube and then point it at the top okay so there's my house and see this cups on here guys it's not going anywhere um, but there's my house <laughs> that's that's the neighbor this is like these three people love each other and then this one down here he just got put off to the side because he must be a bad neighbor so lisa it takes depending on how thick it is um what to do with oh depending on how thick it is it takes a good 24 hours at least some stuff 
it may take more, just depending. But you'll know because once it starts drying, it turns white and you'll know. And sometimes if you let something sit while it's drying and then you pick it up the next day and turn it over, the bottom will still be wet. So you may have to turn it and let that dry. But um, it takes a good 24 hours at least. That's the impatient part. I don't like that part. I don't like waiting for it to dry. I want to do it right now. But I made these a week and a half ago. Okay. So there's that. So now let's make, I'm going to make another tree. Let's see. That little ball will just pull off there. I don't think that's going to stand up. It might. Okay. I'll cut some of that off and put him in a little tree back here behind his house. He's the bad neighbor. He's on the wrong side of the track. That's right. They done pushed him off the hill down into the, off the teacup into the bad neighbor land. So, yeah. Okay. My tree, I'm just holding it where it'll set up. Yes, a little ladder. I have seen them with ladders um, going up the side. That'd be so cute. Okay. My glue is setting up. Any other time it would set up so fast I wouldn't have a chance to do anything. Now I gotta sit here and wait. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, let's get him a pine tree. Oh, my tree fell. Timber. That house is a new subdivision. There you go, Renee. Yeah, it was, he's, he's starting his own down here. <laughs> your three-year-old grandson wanted to FaceTime. Bless him. All right, stay up. Okay, going to have to give him the stick treatment too because obviously he's not wanting to cooperate either. Any other time, that glue, maybe I'll just prop him up for a minute. Ah, timber! All right, stay right there. Let me cut some trees. It's just a, it's like a large teacup. It is. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger teacup. And they have the, um, trying to find some without snow on it. This is some of my Christmas, uh, Christmas greens or whatever. Get you another stick. Yeah, I got a stick. I'm waiting because if the glue don't set up and it stays, I'm going to, I'm going to put a stick there. Let's put, let's put a pine tree over here. I got to hold that too. Timber. Yeah, my tree fell. Put some glue on the roof. Let me do that. Okay, right now it looks like it's holding. As long as that glue will set up, it'll be okay. All right. Let's pull him some flowers off. Oh, he's got to have a stone pathway too. Let's put him some stones. He's not the, he's not the such the bad neighbor. We got to give him a little decor too. Stick treatment. That's it. I gotta give him the stick treatment. If it don't stay, where there's a wheel, there's a way. But you could just go crazy with this. You could do all kinds of little, find you some bits and bobs and stuff that you've got in your craft room and just go to town. And I think that's gonna stay. All right, it's staying so far. So this is what I got so far. So see his little path, his little tree. And then this little pine tree over here. And glue string, spider webs. He's ready for Halloween. <laughs> They're everywhere. And then I'm going to give him some flowers. Soup mugs, yes. And see, the Dollar Tree has those big soup mugs. You could do the same thing. Or like I said, you could use the little crates that they have at um, like this at Dollar Tree. You could do the same thing. Um, or... Um, even that's just little containers that stuff comes in that you buy at the grocery store that you normally would throw away that's plastic. Because God knows we throw away enough plastic to, and we don't need to. But um, you could use anything like that. So don't think you got to go run out and get a teacup. Um, I've had this cup a little while, but I got it at Goodwill. You can make, yeah, you can make a little miniature flower trellis. See, I put a little pink flower there. Um, let me find some other stuff I'm going to put. Cut off of my 
You gotta give him some little shrubs and add some color. Purple, and I got yellow. And I really wanna add this, so what do y'all think about this? I love this. This was a Dollar Tree flower last year and I love it. A Dollar Tree flower, not a tree. Did I say tree? I said Dollar Tree. But what do y'all think if I add that as a tree like over on one side or the other? Do y'all like the pink or is that too much? Tell me if that's too much. But I love this pink. A bumblebee. Yeah, I could put a bumblebee up there. One of them. Oh, golly. Who said bumblebee? I am on it, girl. Here's a bumble. It's going to be a big bumblebee, though. Like that. A little bitty. Yes. See, you could get the little, like somebody said, a barn. You could make a barn and do the little X on the door and paint it red or white or whatever. Um, um, it would be cute, but I got this bee, but that's an awful big bee, but wouldn't it be cute to put it somewhere? I'll decide him in a minute. Pop of color. So I said, yes. Um, oh, you got your canvases, Kathy, to paint on. Awesome. Y'all are killing it. So put the, let me make that tree back here. I put a lot of hot glue for that. I love the pink too, but it's a flower, but it looks like a tree. But like I said, I got all kinds of stuff out here on my table. It looks like a jungle. All right, stay right there. Okay, I'm gonna prop it up for a second. Flower, oh, pink flower's too big, so my sister's too big. Uh-oh, it's on there. <laughs> it's hiding. But look how stinking cute. Let's see, what else do I have? Um. I need to give him one of these. I'm trying to kind of make it match a little bit. Matchy, matchy. I'm going to do one, a little bitty one of these. It's hard working in small, confined little spaces. Miniature. All right, maybe that's going to stay. Let me find some more green. What about this like eucalyptus looking stuff? Tiny red balls to make them look like apple trees. Oh, goodness. See, y'all are going crazy. And I know that y'all are going to do this, and it's going to be in the group. And we're going to see just how stinking cute y'all's imagination is of how well you can come up with all these different designs and ideas. And <laughs> you're going to make it, Robin? Awesome. Put another tree right here. Oh, oh, that, this glue, normally it sets up so fast. Yeah, very, a, a miniature gnome, Lynn, I guess it's Lynn. A miniature gnome, yes. Got to make a little bitty one, gosh. All right, so here it is so far. My pink tree's wanting to go. The glue's not dry, but look how stinking adorable is this. trees my glue's not dry let's sit here and hold it you would have to use tweezers judy i feel like i need to use tweezers it's like so small Let's move all this i got too much oh you yes whoever said they're not brave enough to try the painting just try it if it fails then just paint back over your canvas and start all over again nothing lost if you go to dollar tree they're only a dollar so just, you can take the canvas part off, throw it away, and use that wood frame for something else. I used them to make a, like, a tray last, last year sometime. Okay. Come on. Set up. Any other time this glue sets up in a hot minute. Let's see. Isn't this cute, though? Look how sticky. My trees, y'all, they're timbering. The glue won't set up fast enough for me. My hot glue is not setting up as fast as I want it to. I'll just have to sit here and hold it. Okay, let's scroll again. Let me look over here. And it always stops. Robin Moro, M-A-U-R-O. If you will message me, 
I will send you M A U R O. Um, I will send you a white bunny. I'll send you one of these big white bunnies. Let me see. She said, I'm going to make this. I'll send you a bunny for Easter for Happy Mail. Okay. Oh, now they're setting up. Okay, there they are. They're all standing up. There's the little trees. But how stinking adorable is this? I mean, this would even look cute on your patio, like sitting out in the uh, on a table on your pat back patio or something, and people will come over and go, that is the cutest little house, and look, look at that little house, and it's all like a little, its own little village and stuff. But I'm hoping this moss is going to dry. It's weird. If you get the moss, just beware. It's kind of weird. It's like damp or something, but they said it would dry. Some of y'all did. A pond? Yeah, see, you could make pond. Um, you could actually take hot glue and kind of make you a little pond if you had blue hot glue. Y'all, my tree bit the dust over here. What happened? It fell over, and I was trying to watch those, and this one fell over. Come on. Work for me. Work for me. Come on. Now i got to wait for it to set up again. Yes, these are the Dollar Tree bunnies. Yes, that everybody's putting clothes on them and bow ties and dress and um, dressing them up. Lee, I am not talented at all, but I tried the flower canvas painting. Oh, it... It's not hard. You just got to practice. If you practice, you'll get it. Definitely leaves a little pond in the front. See? Y'all are going to make them in the group, and it's going to be... Come on, stand up. There we go. Y'all are going to just knock it out of the park. I cannot wait to see... <sighs> Somebody's going to do it. These little balls have come off this pink thing that's not cooperating with me. And it's fixing to go in the garbage if it don't act right because I'm just going to throw it away and start over with that little tree. It's not wanting to do right, but let me put one more little bush right here. Ooh! I'm like Judy now. I think I need some tweezers. Dang. I can't get a hold of it. Alright. I think I'm going to call it done, y'all. Look at how stinking cute. See this tree right here? He's not wanting to I'm going to poke him. <laughs> He's determined. I'm just going to rip him up. But look how stinking cute it is. My little houses. Three houses on a hill. That's just what we're going to call it. Three houses on a hill. But isn't that adorable? Uh, you're, you painted the canvases because your cousin passed and it was therapeutic. Well, good. It, that's what it's for. I'm sorry about your cousin, but... Painting is just therapeutic. And they, even working with this clay is so therapeutic too. Um, just rolling it in your hands and making something. Um, and just, you know, then you get to paint it wherever you want to. But can't y'all see the houses like, you know, like a light yellow and a light blue and a light pink. And, I mean, there's so many different, um, <laughs> Teresa, if they keep falling off you just need to add a tornado that's right we can always make something out of it that's hilarious um but there's so many possibilities like somebody said make a barn you can make a little silo make a little cylinder make a silo um there's so many possibilities you can do with this clay and, and you could paint these houses all different colors paint the roofs you could put you know 10 houses up here if you wanted to but Make them as big as you want to. You can make them bigger if you, you know, however you want to do it. Um, it's totally up to you. You Let your imagination just run wild. You know, I just kind of give you the idea. And then you do it the way you want to do it. It's kind of like, you know, I saw something like this on Pinterest. And I was like, I'm going to do my own spin. Um, <laughs> Mandy said, and call it Oz. Yeah, we can put Dorothy and some little red slippers down here. And we just call it Oz. That is so funny. Oh, thank you, Lori. I love the minis. I do. And, um, I mean, I'll probably set this somewhere. I may set it on my back porch. But people will be like, what? And look at those little houses. Isn't that cute? Or what if you made this and gave it to, like, a friend or gave it as a gift um, for Mother's Day? I mean, this is handmade. And y'all saw me make it right in front of you. It's Every bit of it's handmade except for I didn't make the trees. But I put it together and I made the houses. So, that would be great if you did it with like older kids and let them make it for their grandmother or whatever for Mother's Day. 
be so, so cool. Um, and that's all it is. And like I said, this plate came from Walmart. It was 94 cents in the dish area where they have those white dishes. Um, I didn't look at the teacups and stuff there, but like this teacup came from Goodwill. So if you're wondering, um, it came from Goodwill. And then I used this clay from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And like I said, I used, you know, four little pieces this big. So you can imagine how much you can get out of this block. A lot. You can make my gnomes, go back and watch the gnome video, but how stinking cute. I mean, I know y'all have got all of this kind of stuff, like I do, from Dollar Tree, and I just pull from it and pick pick pieces off, you know, and make them look like trees, and it's so cute. Isn't that just a happy little neighborhood? I want, I want to live in this house. Y'all want to be my neighbors? <laughs> Who wants to live down here? We'll throw stuff over the side to you. <laughs> have the jar right in front of me. You could do this in a jar. How cute would this be if you had a, did this on a jar lid and then put the jar on it upside down? That would be so adorable. Just run wild with it. You know, like I said, do it in this crate. You could do it any way you wanted to. Go in your yard, find you some sticks and stuff. Um, Linda's gonna make one for her son's new patio. I know it's adorable. It's like a little conversation piece. You're like, I made that. I know whose mama wouldn't love this. I absolutely 100%. My kids made that and gave that to me. I would love it forever. Yes, yeah, condos, Leanne. I want the middle condo. I want this one. <laughs> but, because I, I was almost going to paint them colors and I didn't. So, won't you be my neighbor? Yes, Susan. Who wants to? These are for rent. Whoever wants to rent this one and that one. And that one's for rent. But this one in the middle is mine. So, y'all can rent out these. <laughs> And we'll just live. Okay, Leon's going to live in the house on the bottom. <laughs> so, yes. But wouldn't y'all want to live in this little quaint little neighborhood? A little ladder. Yes. I need to make a little ladder right here. With my sticks. But gosh, y'all. I'll be sitting here making a ladder. I don't know. <laughs> I might have hot glue all over it. It'll look like a mess. Oh, somebody said something about the bee. Y'all think I should put the bee on it? Like up here? Or is it going to be too big? Can't get him to stay, but he's kind of big. In scale, he's kind of big, but I don't want to glue him. And then y'all go, oh no. See, there's the bee, but I think he's kind of big. Trying not to let him fall off. <laughs> You're the loner, Debbie. You want Debbie? You gonna be down here in this house? <laughs> she also said, bee, bee, bee. my first name's Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen. Well, we're going to put you down there. I can be your Nana and you can give it to me. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> you can be my Nana. My fairy godmother's on here somewhere and she's going to be like, uh, no, I want it. You don't want to carry groceries to the top. Oh, good thinking. I don't want to carry groceries to the top either. Okay, yeah, D Darlene Gratton, if y'all are wanting to know, she's the one that does the little hats. So, y'all got to, if you want to message her, you can. They're so stinking cute. And then, the beekeeper is my favorite, of course. Let me fix his hat. I mashed him all up. His little bee net hat. <laughs> Luann, you going to be on either side? And then, there's this one. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So, yeah, y'all could paint you a neighborhood and rent out your houses. I may have to have this house, and then I may have to have the one next to it for my craft supplies. <laughs> and then I can rent this one out and that one out. How about that? A bee on the teacup handle. That's a good idea, Kelly. Look at Kelly. Let's put a bee right there. Why not? My tree over there is kind of covering up my teacup handle. Okay, there's my bee. Dun, dun. That tree. I'm going to have to stand this tree up where it don't hide the handle. I'm going to have to fix it. Let me put some glue back there and prop it up. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I know it's just too cute. I mean, I can sit here and add and add and add to it. And I'm trying to get that to stay up where it don't hide the handle. It's wanting to lean. 
How am I going to climb down? I don't know. I guess I'll have to hop over here on the handle and then jump down. I don't know. <laughs> Slide down. Y'all are funny. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and hop out of my teacup. The door that leads to the elevator to the top. And um, like I said before, if you wanted to get text messages, but when I go live and when stuff goes in the shop, there's the number. If you want to screenshot it, just shoot me a text. Um, and when I go live and stuff, I'll, I message everybody and tell you ahead of time. Cause I know Facebook's not, um, giving out notifications like they have been. So this way you'll get it every time. All right, guys, I will see y'all later. I'm going to hop off and clean up this jungle that I've got on my table. And, um, y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all Monday night. Same time, same place. Go make you a teacup, a little neighborhood. These stairs, yes. All right, guys. Good night.